We've just explored Shroud Keenly Xumas where we were surrounded by spectacular scenery and sea life. Not sure if you can beat this, but we're gonna try. Ready to sail on? Let's do it. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. Looking for something exciting, free, and real? If so, you found the right place. Meet Calypso, our floating home. It's not working. We're sailing her all over and taking you for the ride. Please click on subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Just got woken up about 45 minutes early because the captain back there needed some help going through this cut in the Exumas. It is called Highborn Cut in the Northern Exumas. Um, I have him talking in my ear, so it's hard to talk when uh, he's talking. So I'm asking Reese to let him know if, there, if Reese hears any alarms going off. But this uh, cut up here is extremely narrow, but also extremely deep. It's known as the best cut in the Exumas because it's so short. Um, I'm just going to sit up here and monitor for coral heads and reefs and all that good scary stuff that you worry about as a boater. So that's why I got woken up, which I don't mind. Taking care of the boat it is pretty beautiful to wake up to. I tell Jeremiah if I can see anything to avoid, and he rustles with the current. These cuts can be a little harrowing at times. It wasn't long before we dropped the hook in a private anchorage and launched the dinghy for a midday snorkel. You guys ready? Woo! Are you warm? Slide off. Are you warm? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. We find so much enjoyment in exploring, especially under the water. This is Reese's favorite place to be. One boat anchored, so awesome. We got your own beach, and there's snorkeling, there's reefs. It's really pretty. So we came in, it's high tide right now. So the tide came in, so we were able to beach the dinghy, or sorry, anchor the dinghy, and then you can see the mast is right over there. That's Calypso. And then came to this cool little beach where it's really sharp coral all throughout. This is actually the east side, it's a lagoon. And then this is the west side of the lagoon, the Exumas. We only stayed here for one night. What a great little stop. It's so nice when you have the entire island to yourself. Isn't that cool? You gotta really watch for your step. 
kind of slippery, but it's also like really sharp. And look at this stuff. Look at that. So you don't want to fall on this, that's for sure. Our scuba booties work great for protecting our feet from the sharp coral. It's your private little lagoon, dudes. I tried to help, she said she had it. It was time to head back to the boat. The dinner bell is about to ring. Lasagna tonight? Lasagna. Love it. Made it yesterday. Gluten-free noodles. So something new for you. Oh, that's cool, I don't So mind. I need two separate lasagnas actually. Here's yours. Gluten-free noodles, the cheese is in it. You have dairy. I have gluten-free noodles, non-dairy. They don't look so pretty. Nice. <laughs> they probably taste good. I hope. No, it's gonna be great. Yeah. The winds are pretty good. They're between. They're right around 20 knots. Um, we're gonna do a little downwind, like beam to downwind sail. We got the main up, and now we're gonna do the head sail. Got both our sails out. The winds are actually 23. Getting up there a little bit. It's at like 140, 140 degrees. Our port side's just letting the sail out a little further. Once the sails are up, we shut the engines off. This is always such a great feeling. It all becomes so quiet and calm. All right, now here's the truth. How fast are we going? Four point six knots. Well, we're, we're going so much straight downwind, so we're returning just in like 10 minutes, eight minutes, no, not even that, and we'll be turning more into it, so it's going to speed up. We've been hoping to get like a nice, calm, almost like no wind sail so we can fly the drone. Today won't be that day since it's kicking up to 22 knots. I don't want to lose our drone. Um, but we're hoping for one of those days so we can get like some drone footage while we're sailing. That'd be super cool. And if there's not a lot of wind, we have less to worry about with losing our drone. I can be up there to catch it and whatnot. Um, but when you're going down wind, it doesn't really feel too windy. So it's kind of weird. But... We've changed our heading and now we are almost on a beam reach. We have 20 knots of wind. Right now we're going about 7-1 there. 7-2. Nice. A little bit of a surge, but it's all good. All from wind power right there. That's sick. A lovely sail on a lovely yacht. We couldn't ask for a more perfect moment. We just sat back and took it all in. Sitting on the back there makes it feel like we are flying, but we're only doing 6.7. We met up with um, some friends yesterday that we met down in Grenada like two to three years ago. They're now in the Bahamas, which is super cool. They left like 30 minutes before we did. They pulled up their anchor and left. We're going to the same spot. Um, it always sucks when you're the last one in the anchorage, right? You're like, oh my gosh, let's go, let's go. Don't you feel the same? Yeah, I always feel like I'm getting left behind. I know, so nobody wants to be left behind. Um, we're not buddy boating, but it's always fun to have friends to hop along with, to do stuff with, to have sundowners with. Um, this community is very, very social, but it can also be and like- And this war party, come in. 
it can also be a little judgmental at times. So I like to keep our friends that we do make stay in touch and meet up along the way because good friends are hard to find. After a few hours, we moored Calypso just off a new island named Wardrick Wells. This destination has a ton of history. We couldn't wait to see it all. We dropped the dinghy and went to the park office to check in. Then, of course, we were off to enjoy the sights. We are all checked in and paid for. Jeremiah went and got our snorkel stuff while we stayed here and waited on this beautiful beach behind me. It's rather lovely. And now we're going to find some other snorkel spots. Snorkel gear, check. Bathing suits, check. Now we just need to anchor the dinghy. Come on, Captain. We got lots of depth. The beaches and water here are so beautiful. We just hung out for a bit before we went to a sweet, remote place to jump in. It's so nice having leftovers just to reheat. It's so nice having a microwave. Yeah. It's oh amazing. my gosh. Gorgeous huh. day. While she is cooking, I've been getting everything ready. We're going to take our board. It has Calypso painted on one side, and then Lazy Geckos and some YouTube stuff, whatever, on the other side. We're going to Sharpie. This also has Sharpie underneath it because I know that paint is like water based. It's going to come right off. We're going to bring the drone and then we'll bring a GoPro along so we can do some filming. While we're at anchor, we try to maintain battery power. So right now, our batteries are at 54.5%. And we are pulling, I'll just go down this screen so it's easier. 132 amps. And it says warning low battery, that's not true. That's because Brittany's pulling the microwave. How long you have left on that? Five, four seconds. Okay, so let's Three, see what happens two, when she one. turns the microwave off. Oh. So we actually are making power because we have so the solar. So it's counting up. You can see we're going plus 11 right now. So right now, with we usually, usually we burn about 20 amps with the boat, with battery charges, all that. So we're making like 31 amps, 32 amps, something like that. We also made a bunch of water on the way. And so we checked that, Just take tank monitors. And then you can see those are our two water tanks completely topped off. We usually burn through one tank a day. I just tapped up both, whatever. So we usually, we're working on one and then we're filling the other one for a day. Next day it swaps, so tomorrow we'll take a day off. All right, Do you like so my hat? I love it. The galley hill. It's fitting because you're in was, the galley. Yes, I was like, okay. John came on board with a hat. It was called Dingy Bitch. He got it in the BVIs and I was like, I love that. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go sit down that. and drink my way. I'm just gonna go outside. <laughs> <laughs> so I started coming up with all these names and I'm like, I'm gonna stick them on hats. I've had this for about a year. This is the first time I've worn it because I didn't like the way it was. And um, I'm liking it. Although I did see some people just kind of staring at it. <laughs> like, well, I mean, it's true. I'm in the galley. I mean, I just kind of put like a- Are you saying you're a hoe? No, <laughs> I just put like a- Like a slutty name with it. Yeah. Galley ho, right? Yeah. I have more, more to come. I'm not sharing. Yeah. All right, it's heated up. Beautiful here, man. I just called Reese spying on the people next to us. She was, the, the couple over there were having fun, and he was like, got a binocular, was like, put them down, stop being nosy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I caught you. No, no, you're the one started me looking at that rebel. Oh, you were the culprit, Dad. Well, that's when they showed up, but I didn't know they were going to get crazy. This is the Exumas Land and Sea Park. Yeah. Um, Wardrick or something like that. This is where you can put the little board up. Looking good, dude. Oh, you know what we could do? Some sparkles. Here. Yeah. Boo-boo um, Hill? Yeah, 
Boo Boo Hill, and then there's also like a Pirate's Lair. There's a couple things to see here. It's obviously, it's you know they have they have mooring balls, they have a park office and stuff like that. It's a national park. Some so. whale skeleton bones on the beach yeah. apparently, and a blowhole. Yeah. So we're gonna have um, a full two days here. Yeah, I think we'll stay two nights. Yeah, are you ready for a little bit of history? Sure, here, I'll film yeah. you do it. I'll get my shovel. I'd be like, where's this whale skeleton? I've been digging for hours. <laughs> so this is my favorite part. When we pull in somewhere, I look at my book and I'm like, oh, I wanna know the history. So in 1958, the Bohemian Parliament set aside a 176 square mile area known as the Exuma Keys Land and Sea Park. That's where we are right now. It is a protected area. The Parliament also established the Bahamas National Trust as a non-profit, non-governmental organization to manage the 32 national parks. 22 miles long and extends out approximately four nautical miles on either side of the Keys. It includes 15 large islands and many more tiny ones. Well, I'm excited to see it. We have four major things to see and I think we can fit that in in two days. We just have to do two things in each day. Yeah, that's right. That's called division, son. You just divided. I'm ready to dig uh, my, with my shovel. I'll be like, I've been digging for hours. Where's this whale bone? What are you going? Oh, you're looking for a whale bone? I thought maybe you were going to be digging for pirate treasure down in the that's pirate's That's too. That's too. There's a thing where pirates can hang out, so I'll dig there. Yeah, what do you think you'll find? What kind of pirate treasure? Gold coins. Gold coins. <laughs> that, that's what they mostly leave behind or your like shipwreck things or something. Yeah. They say. I might even find bones. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a pirate. The Jack Sparrow with his bones. Oh man, you want to find his bones? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, man. You're funny. Reese is a, a great commentator. He comes up with hilarious one liners as you have conversations. <laughs> Yeah, he does. We love your sense of humor, Reese. It's awesome. Yeah. You're welcome. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. We are going to go hike to Boo Boo Hill. Oh my gosh. Are you ready for this? Yes. Oh, man, my arm is killing me. Find a bottle of rum. This way goes to Boo Boo Hill. Yeah, I think bottle. Don't go too deep. This is a little check valve. I'm the um, boat chef. Did you know that? No. This is David Copperfield's island. Dead low tide. <laughs> I've never heard one you can get in. All right, you gotta go first one. And you have to go down. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.